Okay, so we've got this huge list now that we have created. So for those of you at home, you might want to pause your camera or pause your video and type these out. So we've got 1934 now, or it's 1934 now, and Harry Gold is now telling the story that he wanted to tell, right? So he flashes back to what year? 1934. Oh, I'm sorry, this is where he flashed back yeah. to, and Harry Gold is telling the story from where it started. And who's he talking about? And what do we know about him? What is he? He's a physicist. He's a... American physicist. He's <laughs> Jewish. He's a Jewish physicist oh, nice. who teaches at... Okay, face-to-face -face learners are all talking at the same time. So he teaches college at the University of Southern California. Could we introduce him that way? Yeah, yeah. Sure, we could eliminate some lines here, right? Yeah. And then we could go back and just give a little sentence kind of like we did when we answered the question earlier about how he was brought up and how he was awkward and bullied, right? And so what, first of all, can we get rid of that truly is not necessarily important to a summary? When you write a summary, can you include everything? Yeah. No, because then we call that a... That's called a retell. A retell is when you leave out all the details. So let's say I'm on my way to school this morning and I lose, I can't find my keys. The car won't start. My car, then I back out and I get a flat tire. I get behind a garbage truck. I get stuck by a train, of course, because it's LaGrange, right? Yeah. And then I get to school, and when I get to school, I don't have my key for my classroom, so I have to wait for Mrs. Dillman to get here so I can get my key. What am I doing? Am I summarizing or am I giving a retell? Yeah. Right. A summary would be something like the day started out awful when I couldn't find my keys. Anything and everything that could have gone wrong that day did. From a flat tire to the trains on my way to work. Right? Yes. Do you see the difference? So we now need to do that. So what can we get rid of? Kyle, give me one thing. Yeah. I don't think we need this. I think you're absolutely right. Should we cross it? Now, if you have this typed on your computer, do you know how to do a strike through? Mm -hmm. I think I remember. Oh, Go up into, you don't even have to do that. Go up into format. Or you just Go to. It's, it's shift alt five. Shift alt five. Yeah. Shift, you just said alt, shift. Yeah, I guess shift this is alt, easier. Alt. Shift, alt, alt, five. Yeah, if you wrote it out or you print it out at home, you can write through it. Okay, what else can we get rid of? Landon. When he went to a sports camp? Um, yeah, I think we could. What else? Carter. Uh, he was sick a lot. Um, I don't know, but I think we could combine it with something. What could we combine him being sick a lot with? Carter? Um, okay, let's put a little star here, a little star here. A little star here. And what else could we put with that? Well, let's stick to this first, okay? This kind of goes with this. You can change the blue to you. So I think one of our questions was in Skinny Superhero. We 
we good? All right, anything else that can go away? I think we can we need to say his name. I think these two can kind of go together, don't you? And we don't need to say this if we're gonna say this, this, and this, right? He was awkward, he was sick a lot, didn't have many friends, he was bullied. I think we can kind of combine that all into one sentence, right? All right, what else? Well, if we're gonna get away, or if we're gonna like put away too much sports and give him a name G, then we have to get away being bullied again. Okay, we can get rid of this part, but can we include the bully part with the friends and the awkwardness? Okay, so we've got all those red stars are going to go together, right? What else down here could we put with this up here? Kaylin? I'm, I'm a little confused. Is it about what I just asked? Okay, then stick with what I am, because otherwise we're going to confuse the kids at home. What else could we put with this? It is 1934, and Harry Gold is telling the story about... Robert who is a... There we go. There's number one. This is number one. He was a Jewish physicist who did what? What was he? At that time, if he's a Jewish physicist, what was he at that? He was a teacher. So all this can go with number one, right? Then we can go back and talk about him as a child. Is there anything else we want to get rid of? Because there's still a lot here for a summary. What are we thinking? Addison. We can get rid of like, the political because we already said he becomes politically active. Okay, where is it? That is second to the bottom. Second to the bottom. Okay, I like that. We don't want to repeat ourselves. Okay. Landon? We could combine the, we could compi combine that he was politically active and he was worried about his family in Germany because the only reason he became politically active was one, because of the Great Depression, and two, because of Nazi Germany and because he had family down over by that area. So I'm going to put a green circle. You guys can highlight it green if you want. Um, you can put ones in front of these if you want. So then we go back, we can combine those, okay? However it works for you. So he became politically active. Where is it? Here? No, is this the uh, one? It's, it's after the cutie in summer camp. In 1936, he became politically active. I got that mark, oh, but yeah. what did you say goes Jewish. with it? He had family? After he was Jewish. Jewish. He was Jewish. Jewish. He was Jewish. He was Jewish. Right about. He was worried about. Oh, there we go. Okay, those two can go together. Anything else can we combine with that? Um, what about these two? Can we put these two together? Okay. Do you think this is important? I mean, his, his um, students did think he was crazy, and that's kind of interesting. But in a summary, I don't know that the fact that he got carried away mattered. He was already, we've already mentioned that he's awkward. Um, what about these two? He told his brother, I need physics more than friends, and he enjoyed physics more than anything. Right? I think these can go together. I like this for our ending, this statement, except we want it in the past tense, but that's okay. All right? 
And if we're getting rid of that, we can get rid of this, right? And I think this all goes with him being a teacher. Did we cover everything? Do we have our summary ready? All right. Well, we got a lot going on with the ones, but how about this one? And he eventually went on to study there. Do you like that? Yeah. All right, so let's number these because we're going to have to take a picture or save it for tomorrow if we don't get done. So we're gonna go with this one, and then I think we need to go back where? To his, his childhood. So let's look at that, I'm gonna get a different color. So these are the ones. So then let's make this, and this, and this a two, right? Anything else go with that? Oh. The other star, I would say the next thing then is to go to this, where he studied, right? Because then we can talk about him being a professor because we can't talk about him getting involved in politics if we don't know that, if we don't cover the fact that he was a teacher first, right? So, and I know we talk about it up here, but where was it? So this would be three, and what else goes with this one? Anything? So then in here, could this be four and this be four? Yes. And then this five and this six. What do you guys think? Could you do that on your own? I think you could. And I know it gets kind of confusing for the kids at home, but if you highlighted all the number ones, one color, all the number twos, another color, and then stuck a number by them, I think that could help you organize, right? All right, I'm gonna stop this, and then we're gonna type.